and without faith, it is impossible to please God. Yes. Because anyone, because anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists <coughs> and that He wants those to understand Him. Praise the name of the Lord. Whoever comes through that door, he must first of all prove that it is God who has opened the door. Praise the name of the Lord. It is God who has handed over the key to open this. You know what I live. Mulato kama umepunguliwa. I'm talking about an open door. Nobody, no Christian can pass through a door without faith. Ikiwa imeinduka ya koba Jehovah, di atatumika murago wa ufuguke. Ule ite nama karo. Aikana shua. Ata murago unaeza kuwa kazi diyo hile. Diyo hile. Unayona diyo hile. Wala wa Israeli walikuwa naona jia za kutorokea zilikuwa nyingi. Kwa una fikiria, mtu wa kifugu wa fikiria kikuli ya naeza toroka. Babi wala una fikiria kuliko na ukuta. Haka wala fikiria wana mawe kama hii. Hapana, wala una fikiria wana ya toroka. Wana tukuzwe. Lakini ya mungu wana mungu wana kutorokea. Kwa hivyo nasema ya kwamba wakati kwa hatari Mungu anaweza kukupa nguvu ya kushida ya majaribu ama anakupea mrango wa kufanya nini? Kwa kutorokea. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Na kwa hivyo nini ninapenda kuleta somo hili kwetu. Ya kwamba it is only the faith and it is a substance. It is only the two that can allow you when you make God happy without faith without two so God is talking about a tool. A tool. A tool, it is the faith about your imani, about your nabebe ya kwaba. Kupitia imani hii, ni namini ya kwaba kuna murango about Jehovah anaenda kufuguo. Ama kuna murango wa mambo about ni nayobea. Na ni namini murango huu umemfuguka. Lazima uwe na tool. Tool is a substance. Na substance ni kitu unaeza ishika. Kwa hilo imani unaeza ishika. So he is in about mtumishi wangu, Koresh, ambaye, ama ishika fungu, ama nena ya kwa basaza imetoshe wa israeli, wa huli kwa. Kwa maana ni mepua fungu wa ni wafunguli. Kwa hivyo wa sifiri. Ata mtu wenu wakiwa wamefuku wa jela. Na jaji haja muruzu kutoka. Ata ukilidi yako kwa kenu. Hata ukisema mtu wao ameaga, hata ukisema nini, kama mku hakimu haja mfugulisha, ama yule alia na mamraka, hata hama kwa gani. Lazima kuwe na mtu alia na mamraka, chuu, anaseme na huli mtu, hafuguli, hafuguliwe. Na kutoka hapa alafanya nini? Na hata milagwe ya sewa inakuwa na imefukuliwa saile, inasikia kwa watu wakitua, kama uwe toroge, oti eno, siku inani, mwikile, wala wapawa milagwe ya... Please don't, wala naeza toka. They can't go, pray the name of God. I want to tell you, if this will make God happen, then the open door will be very easy. It will stretch itself, and you will be strengthened to pass through that door. It is only the tool of faith. Lakini aliko kalitia Makedoni. Alikuwa na kura hizo sana na kwa Makedoni. Kwa sababu kani? Lakini anajua Makedoni ya kiyo kalitia kikuwa dogo. Na kiyo kalitia kikuwa kina kitorea sana. Aleluya. Kwa hiyo paolo alikuwa na pitia kalatia. Ana pitia kule kuingine. Ana ajua ni tamalizia wapi? Makedonia kwa sababu na anasema huko murango waku unakuwa na umefuku umefukuka praise the name of the law na na imani ya kwa bandi kivika Makedonia akuna na kivika huko alipo wakuta kawabia ata timotheo ni taruhudu apitie kumurango huu ni mepitia jina na wana ni hile kwa sababu paoro alikuwa mebeba funguo zile abado ye mwenyewe ni alikuwa mefuza watu wa Makedonia na so what the Bible says? The open door all oh, give the strength. So when the door is closed, akuna kitu abasho mungu anabikiria murango yi kifuku wa imebu. When the door are declared open, what should come in your 
your faith. Even today, we are going to declare every door upon your life may be open. Ata kama ni nani alikuwa meshikiria mlako wako, with the power of your faith, with the power of your authority, with the power of whoever is cutting the key, even whoever is holding the gate, he must be released. Mlako ukifunguliwa, jamani unakuwa kwa umefunguliwa, mwrete na mwakarohati. Unamini kabisa, kuna mlako wako, unawako fukuliwa, mimi zichui ni gani, lakini mungu aliniambia anopen door, give it a scroll, and that's why the matter is a gate of Shuma, is a gate of war, like a Bible says, he will go before, and he will break every shame, he will break every Shuma, he will break every door, he needs only your feet. Jina la bwana liliwe, ukikaa maisha mengine, ambaye unaona kabisa si maisha yangu, unjue ya kwamba kuna hazina ambazo zimefichwa na unavaa mlango huo wa shuma ufunguliwe, hazina zako zipokee. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Kuna maisha unaweza kaa na ujue hizi maisha yangu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ile unakaa jiapie, hizi maisha yangu.